Hello and welcome to this Dr. Rossmas key skill video on describing a shaded region on a Venn diagram using set notation. Now in a previous video we explored what we meant by a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram was a nice graphical way, a pictorial way to represent sets. And what sets were were collection of items. So it could be that, for example, A is all students who like the colour blue and B is all students who like the colour green and then therefore the circle here are all the students who like blue, the B circle will be all the students who like green, and then the overlap would be all the students who like blue and green. Now we have special notation to represent combinations of sets. So if we want to represent all the things which are in A and in B, so in the overlap, so we want A and B, then the way we would write that is A intersection B. This symbol is actually known as the cap symbol, C-A-P, cap symbol, and it means the intersection of A and B, so the things that are in A and in B. What about the second one? Well, we've shaded here everything that's either in A or in B, or in both. So we want anything that is in A or in B, that's how we might say it, and the way we write it is A union B. So this is known as the cup symbol, but what it represents is the union of two sets. So the union just means all the things in A or in B. And we get this kind of nice figure of eight shape. What about the next one? Well, here we've shaded everything except for the circle A. So we want everything that's not in A. So in words, we could write, we want all the stuff that's not in A. And the way we write that formally in mathematical notation is A prime. Some people say that's A dash. It looks a bit like an apostrophe, but the formal way of saying it is A prime. And that is known as the complement, not complement, that's when you say something nice to someone, the complement of A. It means the stuff that's not in A. Complement means opposite. So the complement of married is unmarried, for example. What about D? Now, this seems to be the region which is in A, but it's not in the B circle, because this region here is also in A, but we only want the part of A that's not in the circle B. So we want to do A and not in B, in words. And the way we can write that notation, we can use the notation we've already defined here, that's going to be A intersection, because remember the intersection symbol means and, A and not in B. Do you remember we write B prime to mean not in B? So it's A and not B. And the last one here in E, we want everything that's not in A nor in B. So it's not allowed to be in A and it's not allowed to be in B and we get the region outside. So it's not in A, A prime, and intersection symbol, it's not in B and that would be the answer there.